Hi Gemini, welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading. Let's start first. Let's shuffle the deck four times for you. I want to look at first the challenges, what happened in the past. Six of Wands, Six of Cups. Th those are in the position of the challenge, so... You may have had a great friendship, but then you were not... You broke that connection and it, even the friendship and the love relationship, it was broken. The friendship was not the same. You could not understand each other and I think uh, it was not mutual. That later stage of the connection, somebody was giving more. Somebody was just liking that attention and validation and not giving to that relation that much. And it felt superficial sometimes. Now let's see about what is affecting you in your subconscious at this moment. You think it may have ended uh, totally and uh, it makes you feel hopeless. That is what is affecting you in your subconscious. Now let's see about the current energies. You have attraction, you want to change the situation for the better. Yes, lots of passion, but you're looking for stability as well. That's why you're walking slowly in a very methodical way. And uh, yes, wanting to be sure that this move back to them would be worth it to something more serious or stable. How do you view this situation with them? Queen of Cups, you still believe you have feelings for them and you feel so confused. Why? It would to, uh, why it was so heavy and dramatic and why you were doing all the heavy work there and it was not a team work. So confused and not finding a way on how to solve this complex situation. Maybe you want to go back to them because you have feelings, but you know that it's not fair that you do all that work for the connection when it it should be a team. You both should work for it. But do they have feelings towards you? Why? It seems like you are forcing it. But you don't want to force it. Force in being in that connection. It should come natural for them as well. So you have feelings. You want to grow and expand with them. Maybe you had dreams about creating family with them as well, so take what resonates. But you don't see that much uh, investment from them. You think you are investing more. Will of Fortune. You want to see this progress here. You don't like how the situation may feel stuck and stagnant. And yes, that's what you hope. Eight of Wands, communication as soon as possible, talking, having a conversation with them. Knight of Swords, here it is about conversation. You definitely want to talk because you still want to hope about being in a relationship with them, wanting to celebrate the love again. Now let's see about them. What are their energies towards you for this moment? Let's shuffle the deck four more times.
They feel rejected, left out in the cold, unloved at this moment from you. They want to reconnect in a friendly way or to see more cooperation and the team work there with that three of pentacles. They are looking for more stability. What they want and dream about is long-term happy commitment. Some of you were married, had created a family together. They think a lot about that and they want to save uh, that uh, family that you created together. Or they still want to dream big about creating that family. So take what resonates. But I see them more uh, being more focused on commitment and stability and cooperation but just holding back tightly, not opening up, not expressing anything, and they feel unloved. Let's see about why the Four of Pentacles. Okay, too many cards. Four of Swords. They think... So, Four, uh, four of Swords clarifying the Four of Pentacles. They think the, the wound is still fresh. You both have not recovered fully from that breakup and divorce. It needs more time or they fear to confront this situation as it may seem or feel still fresh. They want it to let it, they want time to heal it. They want more time for it to be healed and recovered. But they want to cooperate, that's for sure. And they feel low emotionally at this moment as well. Uh, I will continue now this reading with more details in the extended. I want to cover what kind of feelings do they have towards you? How do they view you from the outside? What about their intentions for now? Let's see more details about that. Also, what are the mutual energies and the energies around each one of you? If you want to watch the extended, you can find it now in the description box below this video. Or if you are watching this from your mobile phone, you can just click the title. The description box will expand and at the top you can find the extended link. Thank you for watching. See you the next reading and bye for now.